Just a few miles away from the fault line, Robert Deerenwater felt the earthquake hit. You'll hear a boom. And then all of a sudden your house will just go, start vibrating. And this right here. His home in Meeker shows proof of damage from cracks in the walls to fallen bricks and a damaged chimney. Hit? Yeah. <laughs> the whole wall's loose. It's not the first time this neighborhood has been hit hard by natural disasters. In 1999, tornadoes wiped out several houses down the street. It's just the area. And everybody out here is kind of used to it. And now this. Dozens of earthquakes and aftershocks have rocked the area in the past few weeks. It might not look as devastating as tornado damage, but for some homeowners, it's just as bad. You can really see just how powerful the earthquake was here. Take a look at this wall. It's jutting forward a couple of inches. And down here, there's a huge crack in the pavement that wasn't here before the earthquake. On Tuesday, crews from FEMA and the Red Cross joined county and state officials to assess more than 300 reports of damage. Looking at cracks in the plaster, we're looking at a number of cases where bricks have fallen off homes, and still we have other damage to look at. This survey is the next step toward requesting assistance from the federal government, but some homeowners aren't waiting for help. Falling bricks and unstable walls force them to start rebuilding. If you need to go ahead and make repairs, go ahead and do so. Document your damage, take a picture of it, and also as you make those repairs, keep the receipts. This wall right here. Residents like Deer and Water are taking it all in a stride. It's what they've learned to do. Just a freak of nature. And uh, there's nothing you can do about it except live with it, take care of it, get it over with. In Lincoln County, Sarah Goldenberg, 2 News, works for you.